description. Prosody is concerned with those elements of speech that are not individual phonetic segments, vowels, and consonants. Properties of syllables and larger units of speech, including linguistic functions such as intonation tone, stress, and rhythm, such elements are known as suprasegmentals. Suprasegmental features include stress, tone, and the duration found in a syllable or word in a continuous speech. The function of suprasegmental or prosodic features are to make a speech meaningful and effective. Terminology The IPA provides a group of symbols for stress, length, intonation, syllabification, and tone under the general heading suprasegmentals, reflecting a conceptual division of speech into segmental and suprasegmental parts. However, as we shall see, this division is not very clean, with phonetic correlates of stress, intonation, stress and its phonetic stress. In English, the term stress is used in reference to the degree of prominence of individual syllables of single words. Lexical stress, example, elephant, stress, unstress, unstress, first, eleventeen, unstress, unstress, stress, and unstress. But not every word is actually stressed when it occurs in a sentence. Some lexical stress are picked out for essential stress, perhaps better called accent, example, Albert one to the zoo. Length contrast can be transcribed by doubling of letters for simple long first duration or using length marks in print or just as good. There is also diacritic for extra short sounds. Example Luganda Treasure first grow up. Italian no 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 grandfather first no no Length or even English, thank you or fuck you, depending on intonation and context of use, first cue. Pitch, tone, and intonation. Pitch refers to the perception of relative frequency. For example, perceptually high pitch or low pitch. Tone refers to significant, like meaningful, Contrastive phonemic. Contrast between words signaled by pitch differences. Tone may be lexical as in. This is the table of phonetic stress. Tone number one descriptions. If high level APA transcriptional example, ma, meaning mother. Tone number two high rising, ma, it means hump. Tone number three, description, low, falling plus rising, ma, meaning horse. Tone number four, high fall, ma, it means scold. Tone number four, no toned or neutral toned, descriptions, depends on preceding syllable, APA transcription example, ma. Intonation refers to the rise and fall of voice, pitch over entire phrases and sentences, even in non tone language such as English. At my lectures, they're always grumbling. Prosody reconsidered. The preceding paragraphs have shown that many more features than duration and pitch are or can be prosodic. What then do we mean by prosody? A. Features or groups of features not located at a single place in the sequence of consonants and vowels, for example, stress, tone. B. For example, groups of features associated with a whole syllable, word, or phrase. C. For example, features of the boundaries of syllables and words, like assimilation, linking, Absence versus presence of initial, initial H in the 
to him or her exam. Dogs can be a prosody, virtually anything. Here are some examples. Place of articulation, place assimilation at word junctures. The second one, manner of articulation, initial consonant mutations, example, and walls. Degree of structure, example, spirantization of final stops as a boundary feature. Voicing, voicing assimilation at word junctures and and initial mutations. Red rough flexion, example, Sanskrit. And the last one is frontness and backness, example, umroad, full harmony. Stresses. In this slide, we can see there are three parts of stresses. The first one is pitch, frequency, loudness or intensity, and the last one is length or duration. And the example is in this sentence, many students go to Marburg. Lexical stress. Lexical stress or word stress. This stress is placed on a given syllable in a word. The position of lexical stress in a word may depend on certain general rules. For example, we have entrance. We have entrance and entrance. Object, we have object and object. Present, we have present and present. Shift stress. Generally, when suffixes are added to a word, no shift stress occur. Some of the examples are honest, honesty, holy, holiness, attend, attendance, crazy, craziness, color, colorful. Awakening. There are some differences between American and British English. Some of the examples are, we have ballet, dictate, dictionary, elsewhere, garage, rotate, secondary, and princess. Tone. A tone is the rising and falling pitch found in a syllable. All language uses pitch as intonation. There are two basic types of tone in a language. 1. Registered tone. Tones that are found in an absolute pitch of different syllables. The tones can be high, mid, or low. West Africans use this type of tone. 2. Contour tones. Pitch shift that goes up or down. Pitch. A pitch is the intonation of a language that is described as its melody. We have three examples. 1. Mary gave the money to her father. 2. I sat by the window reading a book. 3. He wanted to go to town on Monday. Intonation is the rising and falling pitch or voice that is found in a stretched sentence. An intonation shows the speaker's attitude and feelings in saying something. In speaking, the intonation also plays a role in showing certain emotions. These emotions can be angry, happy, sarcasm, and length. A length in suprasegmental feature means the duration to produce a certain sound. Some sounds might sound familiar. For example, we have bead and beat. Non-distinctive length. In English, vowels preceding voice consonants are longer than vowels preceding voiceless consonants. For example, bead and beat. Bag and pack. As we can see that the length in beat is longer than the word beat. 
when identical phones end up adjacent to each other, they may be pronounced as a single long sound. For example, 2 plus 7 is bigger than 2 plus 8. Pitch, tone, and intonation. Pitch refers to the perception of relative frequency. For example, perceptually high pitch or low pitch. Suprasegmental features is also known as prosodic features. It's a speech feature such as stress, tone, or word juncture that accompanies or is added over consonants and vowels. These features are not limited to single sounds but often extend over syllables, words, or phrases. Prosodic features are divided into five parts. Tempo, pause, pitch, stress. The first one is pause. Pause as hesitation is a non-fluency feature. However, intentional pause are used to demarcate units of grammatical construction such as sentence or clauses. This can be indicated in writing by full stops, colons, semicolons, and commas. Second, pitch. Different pitch levels or intonation can affect meaning. The most obvious example is the way in which speakers raise the pitch at the end of a question and this is indicated by a question mark in writing. However, patterns of rise and fall can indicate such feelings as astonishment, boredom, or puzzlement, and this can be shown in writing only in a special transcription. Third, stress. Stress or emphasis is easy to use and recognize in spoken language but harder to describe. A stressed word or syllable is usually preceded by a very slight pause and is spoken at slightly increased volume. At word level, stress can differentiate between the noun desert and the verb desert, a distinction which cannot be shown in ordinary writing and the reader will have to rely on the context. Fourth, volume. Apart from the slight increase in loudness to indicate stress, volume is generally used to show emotions such as fear or anger. In writing, it can be shown by the use of an exclamation mark or typographically in capitals or italics, or both. Fifth, tempo. Tempo or speed is to some extent a matter of idea like whilst its use is not wholly systematic it can be indicated the difference between for example impatience and reflectiveness it can be shown in writing only true unspoken words for example curtainly not his neighbor 